Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky, and today I'm out in the uh, German soldier's garden in Girona. Anyway, let's uh, get on to some tech stuff, I'm good and geeky, let's go and do some geeky stuff now. Hello there, this is Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky, and today we're looking at using multi-page documents in Affinity Designer. And I didn't think it was possible to go down this, I thought through multiple pages you would have to do something with artboards, and then each artboard would be a page and you export it out. But it is possible if you've made a template which has got more than one page in it to open up in Affinity Designer. And this is a multi-page document. If you go down to the bottom left hand corner here, you'll see that I can change from page one of two to page two of two. So this stuff here is basically what's on this page here. And then this bit here is on a master page. And the footer here is also on a master page. So it is possible, also go to the master A, so on the master, I've got this here, which is a footer, and then this here, which is a logo, and it's all sort of set up on the master page. So if I change that and put it up there instead, and if I change this to being uh, something else, so the footer here, we can make it a little bit bigger, just so I can see it a little bit better when we... Uh, so that would be your footer, you put it in the middle if you want to. And now if I go back to one of the other pages, to get out of the master page, what you do is click on this again, the toggle master view, so I'm off the master view. Now it could be a good time for you to hack the algorithm on YouTube and put a like up to this video and maybe a comment as well if you want to. So as you can see the good and geeky went up here a little bit further and this footer here and there uh, moved over to the centre and got bigger as well. So that's how easy it is to use multi-page documents in Affinity Designer. And I did this by opening a template. So if I do Command N to do New, let's get this up on the screen here and change to templates and then I've got other templates in here so say for instance this one in the Affinity Disk Store say if I'm using this A4 magazine gradient click on create now I've got this here multi-page document this is um, so I can see pages 4 and 5 of 32 pages and I can change pages quite easily using this at the bottom left hand corner and I also get access to the master page. So there's my master pages giving me the footers for those there. So not much special with that there. But I can actually work on this here just as if I was working in Publisher. It's probably better to work in Publisher with something like this. But if you're working with something that's like two pages, then uh, it could be just easier for you to do it in uh, Affinity Designer, depending on what the design is. And the main thing really is, is that if you're working with photos, go and work in Affinity Photo. If you're working with vector designs, then work in Designer. And if you're doing multi-page documents, then obviously the thing that you want to use is Affinity Publisher. So here we are in Affinity Publisher, and this time I've got a JPEG in here, and I've got a Affinity Designer document in this one here. So working on the JPEG, if I go to the top left-hand corner there, I can choose to work on the photo persona and get access to all the tools available in Affinity Photo. Well, let's get the stamp tool. So if I um, option click somewhere first of all, so if I option click there, and then I can do that. And I'm working that as if I was in Affinity Photo. So if I go into the designer persona, the toolbar on the left hand side changes so that I've got all the tools there that are available in Affinity Designer. So for instance I can get a square or a rectangle tool and I can put that into that image there without any trouble whatsoever. So thanks for watching the video, if you got something from this subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you again soon, bye bye now.